will do it! Sorry! What happened? Why didn't you guys boil the egg for me? <laughs> we were super busy! What have you been doing? Uh, oh yeah, oh come on! Oh, almost there! Hi guys, welcome back to my stream! Today we're gonna learn how to do sunset shimmer! Are you guys serious? You said you would boil them, you promised! Sorry, we'll remember next time. Yeah, next time. If I don't have boiling eggs in 15 minutes, you guys are in big trouble. Uh, Bet, let's go to Target. Oh, okay. Let's see what they find. I really need something to cook these eggs. Hey, Amy, I found a pot to boil the eggs. Are you serious, Max? We have a lot of pots at home. So what do we use? Put that away and I'll find something better. <sighs> oh, I found this. For $16.99, this is the Everyday Egg Cooker. This will be so helpful. Hey, did you find something? Yeah, I did. Let's go home. Oh, yes. Hey, dude, we're back. We got this. Huh? What is it? I got you this egg cooker from Target for $16.99. Hmm, so interesting. Show me how to use it. No problem. I'll do it right now. First, take the egg cooker out of the box. Let's see what the egg cooker comes with. Comes with a measuring cup a poaching tray, an omelet tray, and this holds seven eggs. To boil the eggs, we need to fill the measuring cup with water. The measuring cup has three levels for how you want to cook your eggs. Soft, medium, or hard. For salad, we're gonna do hard. After that, pour the water into the tray. Next, remove the cap from the bottom of the cup. Use the needle to pierce a hole at the bottom of the egg. Put the eggs in the tray, bottoms up. Safely plug it in. Put the lid on and press the button. Now we just need to wait 12 minutes. They should be ready now. Let's check it out, guys. Carefully remove the eggs because this will be hot. Now the eggs are ready to peel. Wow, this is so cool. Thank you. All right, see you later. Wait, hold on. You have to cook with me. And egg cooker, $16.99 a target. Well, hurry up. It's ready, I, I got it. All right, let's strain out all the water. Oh no! Oh. What is going on, Max? Max, what are you doing? Oh, now we have to reboil the noodles. Oh, man, I'm sorry. Oh, hold on, I know what to do. Give me five minutes, I'm gonna go to Target. I um, mean, there's so much stuff. What can I use for spaghetti? Um, let me see. Ooh, this yeah. looks good. For eight dollars, you can get this silicone clip-on pot strainer. This will be really helpful for straining noodles. Now let's go home and make some spaghetti. Hey June, I found a really cool gadget. For eight dollars, I got the clip-on pasta strainer at Target. A clip-on pasta strainer? How does it work? Let me show you. To use the pasta strainer after we boil the noodles, we gotta turn off the stove, then carefully clip it on the edge of the pot. Put on your oven mitts, take the pot off the stove. Now we can strain all the water without dropping any of the pasta. Wow, it works really well. Yeah, I'm a genius, huh? All right, enough chit chat. Hurry up, let's go. Hurry up, come on. Clip on silicone strainer, $8 at Target. Wow, caramel apples, let's slice them. apples. Hmm. I know what to do. Wait here. Wow, the kitchen gadgets at Target are so cool. I need to find something for my caramel apple. <gasps> this could work. For the 99, you can get the apple divider and it cuts eight mm -hmm. pieces of the apple. This will help me cut my caramel apple. Let's go. Amy, I have a special gadget that can help us cut the apple. For $11.99, the apple divider comes with a strong plastic handle and metal blades. It will make it so much easier. Now I'll show you how to use it. First step, place the divider on top of the apple. Next, use two of your hands to hold onto the handle. Then, press it really hard. And now it's ready to eat. Wow, you're so talented, you. Aw, oh, don't say that. Apple Slicer, $11.99 at Target. Hey Amy, can you squeeze some lemon into the dressing right here? Okay. Ow, it hurts. Oh, what happened? I got lemon juice in my cut and it hurts so bad. Oh, I really need lemon juice. You have to do something. Don't worry, just give me a few minutes. 
where's she going? Hmm, what can help me squeeze a lemon? Hmm, oh, this one. For $18.99, you can get this colorful citrus squeezer. You can strain pulp and seeds with ease. Let's go home and see how this works. Max, I'm back with a cool kitchen gadget. What is it? This is a citrus squeezer for $18.99. I got it at Target, and it's very easy to use. But most importantly, it won't hurt my cut. That sounds cool. How do you use it? That's very easy. First step, open the squeezer. Then place the lemon into the squeezer, and then close it. Use two hands to use the squeezer, and the juice will come right out. And your hands stay clean. Oh, wow, that's so useful. Thanks, Amy. Here, let's squeeze some more. Let's do it. Citrus Squeezer, $18.99 at Target. Max, do you need help with anything? Uh, yeah, can you wash the lettuce for me? Okay, no problem. Uh, Max, do, you have, do we have a bigger bowl? This is too much, too much lettuce. Uh, that's the biggest bowl we have. This is gonna take forever. I'll just go to Target and get something that's gonna help for the kitchen. Wait, where are you going? Hmm, what can solve my problem? Aha, sink strainer and stopper. $7.99, it's a two-in-one sink strainer and stopper. All you need to do is twist to drain and twist to plug. Let's go home and test if it works. Where'd she go? She just left the lettuce here. Hey Max, I got a cool gadget for you. A kitchen gadget, what'd you get? I got the two-in-one sink strainer and stopper for $11.99 at Target. What are you gonna use that for? Move aside, I'll show you. To use the two-in-one sink strainer and stopper, be sure to remove the old one and place the new one in. Right now, the water is going through, but if you turn the knob, it'll prevent any water flowing through. Now, we have more room for all the lettuce. Oh, wow, that's really useful. Now hurry up, we gotta hurry and make this. Sink strainer and stopper, $11.99 at Target. Hurry up, Amy, I need the eggs to look foamy. Hey, uh, this whisk is so small. I have to do something. Wait here. You have to finish. Wow, Target has so many cool kitchen gadgets, but I really need a whisk for baking. Oh, here. For just $22.99, you can have this awesome hand whisk. It also has really clear instructions on how to use it. What a great deal. Hey, June, I brought you a really cool kitchen gadget from Target. Look, what is it? I found this really cool hand whisk for $22.99 at Target. This is really useful, and it'll help me whisk the eggs. Oh, seems like a cool gadget. Let's try it. Okay. Using this hand whisk is really easy. You just put it right in the egg and turn the handle. Wow, it's really cool, but how are you going to clean that? Don't worry. I got you. To clean the whisk, just press these two buttons. Then you can remove the topper really easily. Use your fingers to remove the whisk from the topper. Now you can clean this very easy. Wow, what a good deal. Egg beater, $22.99 at Target. Come on, Amy, why'd you do that? I'm sorry, but I'm so hungry. Can you make me a salad quick? Okay, give me a few minutes, I'll be back. Where are you going? I always have a problem with the oil cap. How can I make my salad better? Ooh, what's this? Oh, for $12.99, you can use the Misto Gourmet Olive Oil Sprayer. And it's super easy to use. Hopefully this helps. Let's go try it out. All right, I'm back and I have a gadget to make the salad, but stay away. What? This is the Misto Olive Oil Sprayer. I can use this to spray the oil on the salad. It was $12.99 at Target. To use it, we just uncap the bottle, then twist off the lid, and take out the sprayer. Then pour the olive oil into the container. Once it's filled up, we just put the sprayer back in and twist the lid on. Now we can use the cap to pressurize the can with air. When it feels hard to pump, that means it's ready to spray. All you gotta do is spray the salad down. Once you're done, just close the cap and no more oil mess. Wow, this one's so convenient. Here, your salad's done. Thank you, Max. Oil sprayer, $12.99 at Target. Oh, my eyes are burning. I don't like cutting onions. <laughs> Max. Let's go to Target and get an onion cutter or yeah. something. Max, we need to find something to chop the onion. Um. <gasps> Ooh! $24.99, you can get the Cuisine Art Push Chopper and you can chop, dice, and mince in seconds. Ooh, let me see. Oh, this would be perfect. Let's go. Alright, let's try it. 
try the Cuisine Art Push Chopper. To use the chopper, twist to unlock and then open it. Next, take out the blade guard. Then put half an onion into the container. Put the cap back on and twist to lock it. Use your hand to press the button on the top. And finally, you open the top and all the onion is chopped. This was so cool, no more crying from the onions. Yes. <laughs> Push chopper, $24.99 at Target. Pizza's ready, Amy. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, let me cut it. It's so hard to cut. Come on, Amy, I'm hungry. I'm trying. Amy, what are you doing? You're destroying our pizza. Oopsies, sorry, but it's so hard to cut. <sighs> Just throw this pizza away, make a new one. I'll be right back. Don't cut it. Okay, sorry. Guys, we're at Target. I gotta find something to cut the pizza. Mm, ooh, right here. A super awesome pizza cutter. For $15.99, you can get the four inch pizza wheel that cuts through thin or thick crust pizza. With this, I can cut the pizza perfectly. Let's go home and use it. All right, is pizza ready, Amy? Yeah, it's ready. Do you have the cutter? Yeah. This is the Softworks 4-inch stainless steel pizza cutter. I got it for $15.99 at Target. Ooh, interesting. Now cut the pizza. Hurry, right, I'm hungry. To use a pizza cutter, the only thing you have to do is take off the cap and slice the pizza. After you use it, it's really easy to clean. To clean the pizza cutter, just use your hands to separate the case. Carefully remove the blade, then you can clean it very easy. Once it's clean, just close it up and it's ready to use for next time. Wow, that's so convenient! Pizza time! Yeah! <laughs> In order to be a professional chef, you must cut the cucumber precisely and the same thickness, okay? Yes, chef. Alright, chef, let me try. Here you go. Let me see. Whoa, 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 stop. This is the worst slice I've ever seen in my life. In order to be a professional chef, you must perfect the slices. Professional chef. Slicing cucumbers is hard. Ah, oh, I know. Let's go to Target. Hmm, I need a gadget to slice cucumbers. Oh, here it is. For $18.99, this is a handheld mandolin slicer. You can use it to slice any fruit or vegetable. Hopefully this will make June feel better. Now it's time to try the hand slicer. To use the hand slicer, adjust the button on the side to choose the thickness that you want. Next, put the slicer into the bowl. Just place the cucumber onto the slicer and slowly slide it down to slice the cucumber. Now, I just need to hide the slicer and put everything on the cutting board. All right, let's see how you're doing. Um, how is it, Chef? Job well done! You are so talented. I know I am. Mandolin Chopper, $18.99 at Target. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed our video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell button. Give us a big thumbs up and tell us where you want us to shop next. Bye!